Hello everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to Starbound. Last time we left off, we discovered this weird looking part of the cave. I want to see what this stuff is real quick. Okay, so it's slime blocks. I guess we're in some kind of slime biome, which seems pretty cool to me. Um, I'm going to just build ourselves, well, build myself a way down and put these slime blocks in the blocks part of my backpack. Get some more dirt on my hot bar. I'm going to run out of dirt at this rate. But um, I guess that's not too much of a problem since the stuff is everywhere. Alright, there we go. And I'm probably going to run out of torches pretty soon as well. Alright, there's some... Wow, look at all that gold down there. There's an ore that looks like it might be some copper. Okay, yeah, all of a sudden all the ore is here. And since it's in the slime blocks, I'm guessing it's going to be pretty easy to mine out. Oh yeah, definitely. This is awesome. I love slime biomes. Give me that coal. Um, and I will gladly take... Oh, man, look at all that ore down there, too. Oh, that's iron. There's that little bit of lava there. But I'm going to cover that up right now. There, no lava. Awesome. This is, like, perfect for progress and exploration. Not only do I get all these ores, but I'm in a slime biome, which I've never been in before in my life in Starbound. At least not that I recall. Who knows, maybe I have been, but I really don't think I have been. Alright, come on, gold. Taking too long here. And I'm gonna go fill in those lava lakes to my left as well, just so I, you know, so I'm really careful about all this. Okay, that was a bit of a scary jump there. Um, as you can see, I have new food on my hotbar. Whenever you log out on this game, you basically just respawn back at your ship. And I guess I took advantage of that because I stopped by the farm before I came back here. Um, anyway, let's grab some of this stuff. This, uh, yes, it is copper. Very good. I really need copper. And I'm going to see if I can get up in here. Wow, look at all that stuff. There's so much good stuff in here. There's iron. Look at all that coal. Man, this is, wow, this is just amazing. Oh my gosh, I've never... Oh, and there's either some silver or platinum in there. Either way, we're finding just a little bit of everything in here. Man, I love this slime place. Uh, so that was silver. That's kind of what I was thinking it was. And I guess I can dig down right here and go for the copper. Shouldn't land too close to that lava right there. There we go. I'm okay. Grab that iron. And let's just cover this up, and then I'm going to dig it back out because I am running low on dirt, and I have to conserve it here. All right, there we go. And let's put a torch over to the other side of this. Nice. Okay, and it goes down even deeper, which I don't know how that's going to work out, but going to be interesting to say the least. Um, well, I guess I can just get it by a jump mining, which is probably the least efficient way to mine. But it gets the job done, unlike in Minecraft. There's rare occasions where you can jump mine like that in Minecraft, but even so, it's it almost never works out too well. I wonder what this stuff is here. Mud. Okay, that's kind of cool. So we're finding some mud and some slime. This is a gross biome, but a very, very awesome biome at the same time. Alright, let's see what's over here before we go deeper down. And I also want to go to the to the right. Okay, so there's some lava... Looks like there, okay, there's a few pieces of, oh, I don't want to fall. Okay, I wouldn't have fallen into anything bad there. But I do have to be really careful. Okay, there's some either silver or platinum up there. Can I reach this? I can. Okay, well, I'm going to have to do something like that. Um, there. Safe. Safe enough, anyway. Alright, um, actually, I'm going to... Put these mud blocks off my hot bar as well. And I kind of want to get that stuff up there, so I think what I'm going to do is just cover this up and then... Alright, sorry I stopped talking there. I thought I heard something take damage. I may have, but maybe not. And let's just do something like... Well, first we can, let's just dig out some of the slime. Alright, now I can kind of put a little dirt platform about right here, jump on that, and access. Let's hope it's platinum. It's probably silver, but let's hope it's platinum. 
Ooh, it is platinum. Awesome. Okay, that guy looks scary. I don't think I want to be by him too much. Ooh, and... Oh, well, those are probably just crystals. It's worth to find out, though, since they are in slime. and It's going to be really easy to dig them out of there. So let's just get rid of this lava. Or what I can get rid of of the lava. You know what? Actually, I'm going to take this, because this is what's blocking me from covering that part of the lava. I don't know what that was. Cell matter, apparently. I think I already have a little bit of that, but... Oh, and some pixels. Something must have died in there. Alright, and now we're out of the slime biome, but I don't want to go in here. Well, there's a little bit more down there, but... We found a better cave, what it looks like, to our right. And if this is all platinum, that would be amazing. I could probably make a platinum pickaxe. But these are probably all crystals. No, they're diamond! Awesome! First diamonds on camera, guys. At least I think so. Or, or for the restart, anyway. Man, that is awesome! We got some diamond... Okay, this this is silver, but that's that's okay. We got diamond out of this deal. Usually when you see that bluish ore close to lava, it's almost definitely always crystals. But not this time. This time it was diamond. Alright, let's get all the silver. We're getting a little bit hungry here, so I'm actually going to eat real quick. Alright, back to mining. This is awesome. Oh yeah, and I got to organize my uh, ores, get those off my hotbar as well. Okay, so let's just grab the rest of this. First diamonds on camera. Great success. Okay, let's, um, that's platinum. So let's put the diamond ore there. Yeah, that's, and then let's put the platinum ore above the platinum bars. Now, for diamond ore, to refine it, I don't think you smelt it, or maybe you do. I don't even remember. But you need, um... I think it's like four diamond ore per diamond, so it's a little more expensive that way. And that guy is a bad guy, so what I'm going to do here... Actually, I might just lure him into the lava. Yep, perfect, he's melting. Alright, didn't really have to deal with him as much as I thought I might. Alright, great, I made that jump. This is kind of the area I want to go down, but... Whoa, but before I do that, I want to go see what's to the right of here. This is where we first came in the cave. Because this looks pretty promising as well, and I'm definitely going to have to make some more torches. Do I have enough wood in my inventory? Oh, yeah. Okay, and that looks to be the poison water again, so... That's not good. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do here is cover up the part of that water that's touching the ore. Let's do a little something like... Oh, I'm not close enough anymore. A little something like this. So now I can go grab all that ore down there without fear of death. My copper pickaxe, if if tools could break in this game, it would be really close to breaking, but I'm pretty sure they can't break. Uh, as you can see, there's a little durability bar under it, and it's basically at nothing right now. But I'm pretty sure they can't break. But I, what I think it does, it just kind of slows the tool down a little bit, which is pretty much just as annoying too. But I'm glad they can't break. At least the pickaxe can't, because... Actually, the other ones don't even have durability, so I guess they all can't break yet. But that's really good, because to make certain pickaxes, you need to um, use your current pickaxe. Like, for, for example, if I wanted the pickaxe that's a tier better than copper, I would actually have to use my copper pickaxe to make that. So if my copper pickaxe were to break before I could upgrade it like that, then that's really annoying. I mean, imagine if you had, like, a, for example, platinum pickaxe, and you were about to upgrade it to diamond, and then it broke. Then you'd have to make your platinum pickaxe again, which would be really bad. And imagine if your diamond pick broke, that's even worse. Okay, and it looks like, okay, hopefully this isn't just a lake down here. Oh, these guys look kind of scary. Oh, I'm in poison. Crap. It's those little puddles again, and they blend in even more in the slime biome. It's just, uh... I can't get rid of that one yet. Um, I should be okay. Poison wore off, and now I can use my bandage. I do want to get that that ore in there that looks like some silver, maybe platinum. It's still really hard to tell the difference. Can I... Okay, good. I got a foothold. And let's see. I think it's platinum, actually. Nope, it was silver. Man... I don't know how to tell the difference between that stuff, but look at all this iron. There's a little bit of copper down there that I'm going to grab. 
And maybe while I grab that, I can kind of find out, get closer to these bad guys down here, see if they're actually bad. And they may be immune, I think they're immune to that poison, so that's kind of scary. Usually things that are immune to poison want to kill you, like snakes. Actually, snakes aren't really immune to poison. And I don't think there's any snakes in this game, but... Oh, and there's some gold over here. I will take that, thank you very much. So basically we're rich, I just need enough copper to make some armor. And then once I make my copper armor, I can pretty much upgrade it to anything because of all the freaking ore I have of all the other resources. I think copper's the stuff I have the least of. Yeah, by far. Well, look at all that iron. Man. Okay, maybe I can't get full sets of armor, but I mean, seriously, it's close enough pretty much. Oh, okay, that was close. And these guys, I'm guessing, kind of want to kill me because as soon as I got close, they like hissed at me, so... I'm gonna draw my sword and see. Are you trying to kill me? Are you trying to kill me? Um. Yes, they are. Okay. Figured they were bad. Let's get rid of this poison. All right, there we go. And let's throw a torch down here just so I can see. All right, and now if I can get this kind of move in the slightest, actually, what I'm gonna do is this. Okay, good. Untouched, and oh, I'm in a corner, I'm in a corner. I can just keep hitting him back. That's my plan. Okay, um, before he comes back up, let's heal a little bit. And... Come on, guy. Come on. Okay, he's got the one hit off on me. Hopefully no more. Just keep whacking. There we go. And I think there's another cave behind me, sort of. Let's heal up a little more again. Okay, it's not really a cave, but... Well, there's something there. I mean, there's some ore around that I didn't see before, so it was good that I put that there. Let's grab this stuff. It looks like... Again, this is what I'm going to say is probably platinum ore. And there's some poison water right there, so i got to be really careful. Yeah, that's platinum. Nope. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, I can at least block that off from the inside now. Alright, I think I can maybe step down there without dying. Oh, something got poisoned down there from that water that I just released. Alright, let's do this. Screw you, poison water. I didn't really take as much damage that time. I wonder if it's possible to like build up an immunity to the poison. That would be kind of cool. You know, like, some people build immunity to, like, snake venom. Stuff like that. That'd be pretty cool if that could happen. Oh, and there's some meat down there I can't forget to grab. And this is silver. That, I thought it was silver, but I'm going for it anyway. There's definitely some coal down there. So I'm going to grab that as well. I just want to make sure I'm digging a safe distance so all that poison water doesn't come on and kill me. Okay, so lesson learned. Poison biomes, are, I mean, slime biomes are okay, except they have poison water in them, which is not good. Okay. Okay, and I actually need to make some more torches, because I'm out. So before I go down there, let's craft some. Epic music playing anyway. Let's make... Let's see. Let's make 30 torches for now. And then I could probably... Oops, I, need, I want to put these in this slot. Even though I don't use the hot bar the way the hot bar is meant to be used. Alright, so let's just... Okay, and I think that might be... Yeah, that meat is in a bit of poison right there. So if I can... There, perfect. And there's more resources, but more poison water at the same time, which is not good. Okay, lots of copper, though. I need to get in here. Oh, man, look at all that copper. Yep, this poison lake is going to be gone in a few seconds. Uh, let's just... Um, okay, there's a bad guy over there. I don't mind if he sees me or anything, because I don't think he can jump over that quite yet. Okay, there we go. That's pretty much sealed off and as safe as it's going to get. I'm probably not going to be able to get that platinum, which is a little unfortunate, but that's okay. And I see him coming. Bring it on, guy. I'm just... Oh, are you stuck down there? Haha. 
You fool. Oh, now I'm the fool. I walked right into some poison and used all my dirt blocks. Alright, let's... Let's see. I can use cobble, I guess, but I don't want to use cobble, so I'm just going to use this dirt, and if I have to, then I'll go back to slime. I don't want to, though. I like my slime blocks. Maybe you can build stuff out of it. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, let's uh, light this up. Wow, look at all this copper. And this is another way where I was kind of going to come down, but I didn't quite come all the way down. And actually, let's get rid of this. And let's make a little stair step, or at least a foothold, where I can mine that copper up there. There we go. And let's put this in the inventory for now. And am I hungry? I should probably eat anyway. Hate how it doesn't show that all the time, but yeah, whatever. Not too important. I'm not starving to death. Okay, more copper. Very nice. I'm not going to grab that coal just because I can see that poison water right there, and I don't want anything to do with it, really. Okay, oh, sweet. I can grab my dirt back, and let's get all the rest of this copper. Oh, and hopefully this will go down. Oh, I see something down there. I might dig a little bit towards that. Definitely thinking about it. Maybe after I get the copper, I'll dig towards that, because there's a light down there, too, so that's probably something. I mean, it's a very tiny bit of a light, but it's a light. So, I mean, there's something in there, obviously. Alright, and yes, this is a giant vein of copper. So... The reason why I started to, I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning of the episode, but I, I started to explore the rest of this uh, slime place, basically because I didn't really get any comments saying either way, and I figured, yeah, I'll just explore it, I think that's fun, and, you know, if I need any, any copper, maybe I can get it off camera, but now I'm killing two birds with one stone, I mean, I'm making progress with the copper that I need, and the other resources in the game that I need, and I'm exploring, so pretty good win-win situation we got going here and I don't wow look at all this copper man hopefully it just keeps going hopefully this is like infinite copper land all right it seems to end about right here and this pickaxe probably can't get any more broken down because I base this is basically the only pickaxe I've been using and normally you don't go caving this far down when you're still at the copper tier but it's fun so why not and I'm going to place a torch down here just in case there's like another cave around or some more ore around. Definitely more ore around. I'm grabbing that iron. You can never have too much ore. I mean, oh, and there's... Looks like there might be more... Co yeah, more copper down there too. It's just like right here. It's all right here. I just have to be careful about that poison water. But man, one of the first things I'm going to do as soon as I make my copper armor and possibly upgrade it to as high as I can possibly upgrade it to. I'm getting a new pickaxe because it's going to be much faster. And eventually, you can get to a point in the game where you go beyond pickaxes even. And you use like drills to dig. Like you can get a diamond drill, which is really fast. So that's probably something I'm going to want. And as long as, you know, it doesn't break down, it's pretty good by me. Alright, so more copper, more mud, actually. Yeah, and this is taking even longer to dig up now. Like, come on. Don't be like this game. Okay, and there's another light down there that I might dig to as well. But I think the other one... Actually, this one's probably even closer. And it's deeper down. I'm gonna go for this one, actually. Got the rest of that copper or iron or whatever that just was that I dug up. I think it was copper. And let's dig our way down there. Hopefully it's something really cool. Otherwise it's kind of a waste of time, but you never know until you actually go down there and try to find out, so I think it's worth the time, even if it ends up being like nothing. I wonder what is making that glow, though. Maybe it's like a glowing mushroom or something? I mean... I don't know if those exist in the game, but, I mean, that's something that exists in other games. Alright, there's more copper over there, but I'm going to finish digging for now. Oh, and we're over a thousand slimes, so let's put the slime in the block thing. There we go. And 
Whoa, not sword. Can't really dig with the sword. And that might be platinum, so I'm actually going to dig over close to that. Platinum is pretty rare, especially at the stage that... Oh, there's a chest over there. Look at that. Chest and some coal. Let's open the chest from far away. Ooh, blueprints. Cell chair blueprint. I'll learn that. And cell lamp blueprint. I'll learn that as well. And that's a cell chest. Okay. So that must be like the slime biome type stuff. And I'll grab the chest as well. And I definitely want this coal. Not going anywhere without this coal. No, sir. I will take all the coal because... I mean, that's just more torches for more caving exploration. And it's also fuel to help me get off this planet when eventually the time for that comes, which really isn't going to be too far off now. I mean, assuming I can make all that armor and stuff that I want to make. Okay, so this is basically just another cave system that I found. Awesome. Oh, and that's the other glow that I saw, so... I guess it's that cell stuff that's glowing like that. And I want to place a torch up there. That looks like more... Oh, man, there's more platinum up there. There's just too much good stuff. <laughs> it's too much, but I have to go... Well, I'm going to get that other platinum first. At least the stuff that I think is platinum. Then I'm going to grab the copper because... Okay, and I'm going to need to be careful when I grab this. So I'm going to do a little something like this and then grab it from here because there's that poison water down there. Don't want this falling in. And I don't want me falling in either. That would be probably worse. In fact, I could probably go with another bandage about now. You know, to heal all my poison wounds or whatever. Don't know how that quite works, but I'm not complaining. And, yeah, that guy's still trapped there because he's a fool. And definitely grab this copper. Hopefully it's a lot more than... Okay, it is a decent amount. It's not like a ton, though. Unless it goes down further, which it doesn't look like it does. Alright, and I kind of want to see what's beyond that poison water down there, so I'm going to cover that little piece up down to the left. Let's just get that. And I want to do a little something like this. I'm going to really be cheap on the dirt because I am running out. And I guess I can just jump across this, whatever. Let's see. Does that go down? Oh, yeah. That goes... Oh, wow. It goes down into an even bigger cave. Oh my gosh. This is insane, guys. I don't think I've ever been down this deep because I thought the slime biome was deep, how it's past, you know, all the obsidian and lava, but it just goes down even further. I mean, the core of this planet is probably a giant slime ball. I think we may have reached the core of the planet. Now, I'm not sure if that's actually possible in the game, but that would be kind of funny. Ooh, and that, that could be diamond in there. I didn't notice that at first. I don't know how I didn't notice that at first. But I'm going to start a little branch way up. And I don't know if that guy's friendly or not. So, you know what? I'm going for that stuff first because it may be diamond. And mud seems easier to dig than slime, which is uh, pretty cool. Is that diamond? And that guy is a bad guy, but luckily he killed himself in that lava. I think this is diamond, guys. It's got to be diamond. It's taking so long to mine up. Got to be diamond. Yes, more diamonds. I think that leaves us at like seven diamond ore which is almost enough for two full diamonds which is pretty good actually I mean it sounds like it's a pretty bad exchange rate and it kind of is I mean especially since it's not really close to the other ores in terms of how much yield it gives you but I, it's still really cool and I'm gonna leave the cell stuff here oh and there's iron and gold up there man iron gold and platinum and there's that thing that I gotta get rid of get rid of the stupid cell stuff blocking me from blocking off that, uh, that, was I calling that lava? I meant poison water. I may have accidentally called it lava, though, a few times. All right, anyway, let's, uh, light up there. Check out over here. Oh, man. Okay, and this was, like, another way down, because that's where we've been, because there's more torches up there, so I'm gonna go top down here, grab the platinum. Man, this place is just so, no this is just so neat. I don't know how else to describe it. Having a lot of fun with this. Get, I mean, we're getting torches. We're, we found some chests. Oh, and there's some iron over here. But I want that platinum first, I think. You know what? I'll grab the iron first. I'm like right here. No sense not to, really. Oh, and it's a big... Is it a big vein? Is that still iron that I'm mining? It still is, but it's not a big vein. That's okay. 
I want the platinum a little bit more anyway. Because rare and expensive, that's why. So let's hope we just get this all at once. I think we will. And that guy's having fun in the little corner over there to the left. I don't know what he's doing, but he's just kind of going nuts. Okay, there's some more iron here. And that stuff's probably silver. Just, I'm going to say that just because of how much of it is there. But if that's platinum, then we're rich. We're, we're just rich. I mean, we already got a ton of money. And I don't know why I dug straight through like that. Come on. Alright, I, I guess I'll just do that over here as well. And then I can grab that little one piece of iron ore when I'm done grabbing the rest of this vein. And then I'll get the gold and, whoa, almost went down too far again. Come on, get the iron. I want that iron. And I want this iron. I want all the iron. But I can probably start blocking off things with slime blocks, but the only reason I don't want to do that is because it's harder to tell where you've been. Because... You know how I made those paths over the lava biome with the green dirt? That green dirt really sticks out, so I really know exactly where I've been, pretty much. But anyway, grab the gold, get some more riches. If only there were good gold apples in this game, that'd be kind of cool. And there we go. And let's find out. If this is silver, I'll probably still mine it all, because I think that's like the next tier of armor after copper, maybe? Which is kind of weird. Okay, it is silver. I'll, I'll, I'll grab it. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. I would have preferred Platinum, obviously, but... I mean, I guess early game we shouldn't even be going for Platinum. We should still be going for Copper. But hey, we got a ton of Copper just recently, so... I'm okay with this. In fact, after this, I'm gonna... Actually, it looks like there's more of a cave over here. There's something over here. There, I'm gonna just get this out of the way. So I can kind of go over there and... Let's throw a torch down, see what we can find. Eh, that's badness. There's some iron there, but hey, we've been mining for too long, and I kind of want to get exploring. How much iron do I have, anyway? 129 iron ore, 102 copper ore, so I definitely have enough copper to finish my armor. So that actually leaves next episode up for debate of what I'm going to do, because I am about to get ready to end it here. And... Whoa, okay. So what I'm going to do is... Skip out in the dirt again and make the smallest possible, oh dang it, staircase thing. Dang it, I'm messing it up again. Okay. And in the next episode, man, I, I can't believe I'm saying this. I, I don't know, should I leave it up to a vote again? I really want to explore this huge cave and keep going deeper into this giant thing and possibly find the core of the planet if you can i kind of want to do that or since i have enough copper alternatively i can make the copper armor and see what i can do with that and i i don't know really though because then i would need possibly even an upgrade over the copper armor and i'm not sure if i have the materials for that but i pr i think i do but i'm not sure so what should I do? Should I keep exploring? Which is kind of what I'm leaning towards, to be honest. Or do you think it would be best to just kind of make the armor sort of progress? I, I guess. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I, th I think I'm going to explore, unless like an overwhelming amount of people want me to uh, you know, go up to the surface and kind of focus on the hold the stress beacon mission, which is the only reason I am making the armor in the first place, because you got to be ready for what happens. But anyway, let me know if you uh, if you think feel one for one way or the other. Your input is greatly appreciated. But anyway, that's going to do it for me for today, so thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye everyone. Have a great day.